friends, it's been a while since I did a video, but I was away for a week at the beach in the Netherlands. This time of the year, that means rain boots, rain coat, uh, your clothes not drying. Um, so yeah, not sunbathing, but it was fantastic because any cobwebs I had going on in my head after sitting behind my desk way too long, they really got cleared. And I have some new ideas about what I wanna be doing, uh, especially on social media, so I can reach more of you and share more with you about hormones and your hormones in particular. So uh, one question a friend of mine had yesterday was about having too high progesterone or too high estrogen. And that really got me thinking with the idea that I want to do more videos because I think it's fun. I love watching videos and it's really quick, a lot quicker than writing out a blog with all grammar issues and typos. So I thought, why don't I do a quick video right now uh, with you on that? Because I know that online you read a lot about uh, women thinking they have too much estrogen or too much progesterone or too little progesterone. And honestly, I want to share with you that this is probably never the case. So is that surprising to you? Probably. Don't stop the video because you think that I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to tell you what, why that's the case. The thing is, it's about balance. Your hormonal system is all about balance. You might remember if you had biology that the hormone cycle is all about positive and negative feedback. Is that ringing a bell? So if one gland is producing a certain hormone and it crosses a certain threshold, it will tell another gland to stop producing something else and have negative feedback to that gland to kind of tone it down so you don't overdo it. Now if there's something broken in the chain, that might mean that this first gland might never be told to stop and overproduce and overproduce and overproduce. Now, one of, one of the things you can see in the female hormonal cycle, a good example, is when there is a problem of PCOS. There's this constant trigger, this constant message to the ovaries, please, please do this ovulation thing. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And therefore, these women will often have a high level of luteinizing hormone, LH, but they never ovulate. And because they don't ovulate, there's not a negative feedback system to say, hey, you can tone it down with the LH, uh, with all the issues following that. Another great example is when you are very stressed out and you have very high cortisol levels, um, you, some of your glands will be told to not produce anything, not certain sex hormones, with the result that ovulation might not happen or the uterine lining is not thickened properly, you name it. So, yes, it's true if you have very short cycles, like 25, 26 days, very heavy painful periods that you have too much estrogen. But it's not really that you have too much estrogen, there's just not enough progesterone to bring it into balance. The same applies to women that have uh, too high progesterone and they feel very depressed and have extremely sore boobs and so, uh, long cycles, it's not that they have too high progesterone, there are not other hormones to kind of balance it out and tell the ovaries, you can kind of stop doing what you're doing now, it's time for a flow. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's not about whether you have too high or too low of a certain hormone, it is that there's an imbalance and this is usually because there's something broken in the chain and it's one of the glands uh, that is involved in that. Now I would love to share another video with you, maybe on those glands, what are the most important glands in a female hormonal cycle, uh, or which hormones are most involved. So if you would like me to do, if you, if you would like me to do <laughs> a video on either of those, please comment in, uh, in the section below and let me know which one you would like me to do or both. Um, and if you would like me to do more videos in general, please like the video because then I know that you're interested and I can do more of these. Well, I hope you guys all have a good Friday wherever you are. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully a next video soon. Take care guys. Bye.